It was bigger, you know, is that kind of a focus of the off season? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, with this strength staff, we've done a great job at, you know, maximizing our gains, you know, getting us uh, bigger, stronger, and faster. But, you know, that's, that's always the emphasis in the off season, you know, gain weight, um, you know, build your body up, you know, for the uh, spring season. How many pounds of muscle would you say you've added? I don't know. I mean, everybody says I look a lot bigger, but I just feel like I look the same. But I'll probably say somewhere like five pounds, yeah. Breezy look bigger this year, but Sire Gaines look impressive too. I mean, what have you seen out of the freshmen so far? Yeah, um, they're, they're grinding, you know. Those are two young guys who are working hard, and, you know, I'm emphasizing to them, you know, how they got to keep working and, you know, moving up in the ranks. And they both have a chance to do, you know, some big things this year and help this offense out in different ways. But, you know, they're working hard, they're grinding, they're getting better every day. From your perspective, how important is that for, for, for one guy to kind of rise up and take some of, the, some of the reps off your plate? Yeah, you know, it's... Uh, it's, it's definitely helpful, you know, as a running back, just staying fresh, you know, having guys being able to rotate. I mean, if they're good enough, sometimes even three. You know, with this offense, we do a lot of different things, a lot of motion, a lot of 21 personnel having two running backs in there. So just to have a bunch of guys who are ready to go, you know, it's no drop off when somebody else is coming in. How are you approaching spring? Obviously, you, you know, want to improve, get work done, but I'm sure the biggest goal is to stay healthy too. I mean, how are you kind of making sure you're doing what you need to do, but you're ready to go for Georgia Southern? Yeah, I mean, just taking those steps necessary to, you know, take care of my body. You know, it's a big emphasis, just staying healthy. You know, they already seen what I can do, you know, but obviously I got to keep building on that mentally, you know, getting in the film room, you know, learning defenses better, being locked in on the offense, you know, just doing all the other things, you know, because physically, you know, I have that already, but, you know, working neck up, everything else, and just taking care of my body. I think Dirk said, like, we don't need to see him get tackled very much this spring. Like, I mean, have they kind of talked to you about, like, with whether it be scrimmages, spring game, like, just all these kind of contact drills, like, hey, look, we're just going to be smart with this? Yeah, I mean, the emphasis is just, you know, getting better, you know, learning the offense, like the, you know, back of my hand. And like they, you know, they've been saying, like we've seen you do everything we need to see you do. So just, uh, just keep working and keep getting better. And, you know, I'm basically like coaching the young guys now, giving them all tips. So it's, it's a good spot to be in. People are really throwing good around that Heisman word. You know, what's that like for you to hear your name potentially mentioned on that, with that list? Uh, it's definitely amazing. I mean, you know, as a little kid, you always dream of things like that, but I mean, I'm, I'm focused more on winning, but, you know, if that comes along, you know, it, it will, it'll come along, you know, with our team's success and, you know, with great play from other players to help me get there. Why you coaches, had a really coaches, good... coaches have kind of praised the way you have kind of haven't let that affect you. You know, what, what has it been that you've just kind of been able to almost put that aside and just say, hey, just focus on the here and now? I mean, yeah, uh, going in this season, you know, I would obviously I had goals of, you know, being all American, being one of the best running backs in the nation, but you kind of got to let that drive you, you know. It, it can't be your main focus because the main focus is to win. And like I said, all those things come with it. If you handle business on the field and those awards, all those things, they'll, they'll come. But, you know, just not getting in my head, you know, staying humble and remembering what got me here, you know. You had a great season what last year. What do you, what do you want to work on in spring? Where do you want to be better next year? Uh, I want to be better in pass protection and being able to recognize defenses, you know, just to have some better anticipation, um, know exactly what's going on with the O-line, you know, what routes the receivers are running, you know, just being able to know everything out on that field. And I think that'll uh, take my game to the next level. It was nice to uh, see Mad Dog out there already after surgery. What would you think of the effort you put in to get back and, and be ready to go, you know, at least in this form uh, already at this point in spring camp? Yeah, I mean, he's one of the guys who's in the training room every day for hours, um, putting in work ever since he got the injury. And I know how much he's itching to get back on the field full go. So, I mean, you see that in the work he puts in, in the training room. I mean, I was just in there getting some recovery, but you know, he's, he's in there right after practice, you know, getting his workouts in and trying to get his strength back and be back on the field with us. Why do you think it's important that, you, that you're a leader this year? Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, Coach D says it all the time, but we have to be a player-led team. And, you know, when the best players on the team, you know, lead the team, I think that's when the teams are the best. And, I mean, a lot of guys on this team look up to me. I mean, coaches tell me, players tell me. So just taking that next step and, you know, it'll help me lead myself even more because, you know, I can't be slacking. I can't be off. Like, I have to be on it, ready to go, you know. So 
these guys see me working, they'll work harder too and they'll listen to what I'm saying and it'll only make the team better. Spencer Danielson said you're working out at a level, you're training at a level that he's never seen before. I know you saw that on Twitter as well. Yeah. What is that level? I mean, how are you able to do this when other people can't or won't? Where's it come from? Uh, I mean, Coach, it's like been an emphasis this year, Coach D. I've been saying Coach D a lot, but uh, build different, you know, that's been our emphasis is we build different, but you know, you can say it as much as you want, but it's about the work you put in. So, you know, a, a big thing for me is working harder than everybody. And whether that be lifting more, running faster, I mean, whatever it is to beat the person next to me, but also to push everybody around me, you know, to see how hard I'm working. So they'll work just as hard with me. So are you hoping to be a team captain this year? What would that mean to you? Uh, it would mean a lot, you know, to be the guy to, you know, lead the team. Cause I think the team, you know, it's, it's directly influenced by those team captains, those guys. I mean, you got to listen to them. They'll show you the way, especially for the younger guys. But just to bring the team together on both sides of the ball when, you know, things are going right, it's easy to be a leader. But when things are going wrong, you know, being able to step up and, you know, bring the team together. So what was your message during the uh, hype circle then today? Uh, just the emphasis on the details. I mean, we only get so many practices and, you know, once it's gone, it's gone, and just take advantage of everything because, you know, this, this game, it has a short life, so, you know, have fun with it and be your best every single play. You guys added a lot of weapons on offense. What do guys like Malachi, Chris, Cam, you know, what do they add to add to you guys? Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they, add, they add a pass game for us, you know. Last year, we didn't really have that good of a passing attack, so to have some new receivers in here, and, I mean, obviously, guys like Trail coming back, too, but... Um, just to have more receivers, have another QB in there, just to help us add to our passing game and, you know, elevate our offense and make it even better. How has Malachi kind of got, you know, just kind of adjusted and become part of the program here? Uh, yeah, it's, it's been good. I've been getting to know him a lot. You know, we go out, go out to eat a lot. He's always asking me to go out to eat. But, you know, he's definitely, uh, he's working hard and, you know, he's trying to learn this offense and, you know, be the best he can for this team. You know, there's no pro teams in this town, as you know. The stars of Boise State football team are kind of the support stars of the town. Are you kind of a go through the back door type of guy when you go out and whatnot? What's it like to be Ashton Genty in Boise right now? I mean, I just, you know, I feel like I'm a regular dude. You know, I just do some spectacular things on Saturday. But, I mean, I'm not really a person who tries to be all Hollywood or whatever, you know. I'm going to go to the store, grocery store the mall and you know people obviously they recognize me now because I've done some some pretty big things you know popped out in the community a little more but I, I think it's cool you know just you know having that backing around you know people around the community that's part of what kept me here all the love and support. Did you opt into the EA game? Yeah for sure I mean <laughs> like every I feel like every kid who plays sport you know, when they were younger it was a dream to be in a video game I mean most of us dream, dream to be in, in Madden because we didn't really know if NCAA is going to come back but you know as soon as I seen it was coming out had a chance to opt in I didn't really care about the money involved I just wanted to be in the game and use myself do you think this that can help you kind of build your national you know kind of brand or national recognition uh yeah I, I mean yeah I I guess so. I mean, people using me in the game, you know, seeing how good I am, you know, and just bringing more recognition to Boise State, you know, and group of five, you know, because we got some dogs. Your rating's got to be over 90 in the game, right? I mean, I, I ain't looking too much into it, but, you know, I would hope so with what I did last season, you know, I, I should be in the 90s for sure.